So I was not aware until I was about 24, 25, I grew up with crippling social anxiety. Like, I got into magic because I didn't know how to talk to girls. <laughs> and I was like, I like girls, but I have no idea, like, what's the girl's psychology? What do they like? How do I say hi? And so I use magic as my way to connect with girls, but also I realized that in doing so, I was able to naturally connect and entertain people. And when you give everyone a thing that they can all get involved in and just escape in and enjoy it, not have to think about the worry or the stress or the money or the relationship or the you know adulthood stuff that we have to worry about, that everyone just kind of lets their guard down and just has a good time because at the end of the day, we all just want to be kids still. I'm going to do things that you've statistically probably never seen before. I'm going to predict what's going to happen at the end of the evening, and I'm also going to give someone an ability that no one thought was possible that makes students immediately run up to me after every show asking them if I can help them with their final exams. With my music, I just want to really help the world with it. When I was six years old, I would always be in the kitchen with my family and they'd always talk about the news and so they'd always talk about like the problems around the world and I was like, okay, but like what are we trying to do to help? So I just, I came to the piano just kind of playing around, but I always had like the idea in my head of like, oh, but I want to write about this. And I started writing about things that like stood out to me, inspired me. I've written about suicide, I've written about homelessness, mental health, drug and alcohol abuse, war. I feel like there's such big issues around the world and I feel like sometimes if we don't live through them our own lives, we don't recognize them, but I feel like they are out there and people are struggling and I feel like really it is heartbreaking and I want to like bring awareness to them to help them. I hope one day I can take these songs and give back to people that I've written for them. I have a good song I've been working on for a while and I'm really excited to share it. It's something new and I think it has a really important message to say to the world. I think a lot of people, when like they hear like aerial arts, they don't really know what it is entirely. It's kind of like a dance, like it's kind of dancing, but just on like an apparatus, like a hoop or a silk. For me, especially like when I'm in the silk or like doing a job, I don't know, it just feels like free. In the hoop, I love doing things that are a thrill. I love um, creating my performance and performing it. It's just fun. I think we work well together, especially since I am mostly on silk and she's mostly on hoop. Like, we put our differences together and like make a beautiful routine. I'm excited to see other talents. It's gonna be really fun. Yeah, and seeing multiple people, like a lot of people come together for a common like goal to help people, which is, it's really good. I think the very first time we ever, ever performed, we were just like, oh, I don't know, a little nerved up about it. And we got done with that very first performance and it went very well. And there was just this moment where we kind of came together after the show and it was very emotional. We were like, yes, we're gonna do it. And I think this is gonna go somewhere. And it just felt so right and we felt so connected. I said, you know, if we're good, people will ask us to sing. And if they're not, we won't, we'll stop doing it. <laughs> We've just and, gone where the doors have opened and here we are. And kind of people have just asked us to sing and, and then people hear us somewhere and ask us to sing somewhere else. And it's just kind of built up from there. I think definitely the, the competition is awesome to be part of a, a, a competition where you're pushing yourself to excellence. But at the same time, like we all realize that, especially in this particular situation, the competition is almost a side to what the true uh, meaning or value of the competition is. It's raising awareness for this really important work that mm -hmm. Oakland is doing. We're going to bring some really big variety, even within our short amount of time. Yeah. We're going to have some fun. We might dance around a little bit. We're going to get emotional. Toys. I hope you laugh. I hope you cry. <laughs> It's gonna be great.